My name is Vahid Chitzel, part of Elite Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here today. Uh, let's start. Go ahead and introduce yourself and let us know where you guys are tuning in from. Yeah. Well, my name is Brian Ponce. I am from Costa Rica. Uh, I'm 31 years old, and I have a long, big story of a struggle, but with the struggle come the success. Awesome, awesome. So let's start with this. When did you start thinking Go Rich, and how did you start with thinking Go Rich? Um, this is the story. Um, I started to work when I was 10 years old, working in many, many different jobs. After nine years, I started my first business when I was 19. Uh, I used to start the business, but I became a businessman, and I started to think and grow rich when I was 23 years old. But the first book I read was uh, Poor Dad, Rich Dad. Uh, I find the the Think and Grow Rich, like five years ago. One of the most complete books of success you can read, for sure. Definitely. What are some of the principles that you think we should share with individuals that want to go into business? What would be your recommendation? What are some of the principles that they absolutely need to know? Now, I think the first one is you got to be strong because to become an entrepreneur is not easy but the rewards you get, they're amazing. So the first thing is you gotta know, you gotta fight against a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Taxes, government, environment, some bad employees, and you gotta start to work your uh, intelligence. You gotta be more patient. I have some things in my desk, for example, the turtle represents patience. You know, you gotta be patient with, with all the stuff or not too quick. And you gotta be a warrior. You know, you got to fight. You got to be a soldier. Every day, you got to wake up really, really, really strong mind to keep going with all the challenges the business come to us. So I think that's the first thing. You know, you know, you got to be strong and work in yourself. But you got to work in your mind. That's the, that's the most important thing. Like, like you, it's mastermind. What is a mastermind? You got to work in your mind, knowing, allow, knowing about sales, knowing about how to be patient in calm and in, in hard situations and, you know, working hard. I think that's the first thing, you know, you got to hustle. That's it. I agree with that. So here's my question. What would be your recommendation or suggestion to someone who's 20 years old today, just like you were when you're starting your, your journey? What would be a couple of recommendations to the younger group that are just coming into the industry or they're coming into um, self-realization? that they don't want to work for somebody else and they want to be their own boss. Yeah, that's a good one because when I started, I didn't think, oh, I'm going to put a business. I just start doing it. So the first thing I can tell to these 20 guys years, well, uh, of these 20 uh, years old people is take action. You know, whatever you want to do, I don't know, maybe you can start cutting grass, taking dogs for a walk or any business you want to start. Start right now. You can go and make business cards, you know, invest in business cards. That's the first thing. Make a logo, print business cards, and start to go to networking events to meet people. You got to meet people. You got to dress well. You got to good looking, you know, and you got to be talking with people without embarrassing yourself. You know, you just go and you introduce yourself to strangers. That's what I did. I was 19. Um, I was working in a bar as a bartender. And what I did, I was having my business cards. So when I, every customer who came to my bar, I was like, hey, I am Brian Ponce. I do private bartender service to events. That was my first business. Yeah. So I give business cards and I start to do it. That's the first thing. Take action, make business cards, go to networking events and be professional. Start working professional since the beginning. You know, buying a domain, professional domain, www.yourwebsite.com. You know, don't don't do the email, I don't know, bahit at gmail.com. No, be professional because professional people do business with professional people. So take action, business card, uh, networking events, be professional since the beginning, and the money you make, reinvest it. Buy more things that you need for your for your business. Buy assets. I agree with that. So here's my other question. When you were like, let's say, 20 years old, how many hours per day did you work or your weekly, if you want to divide it up? Did you take weekends <laughs> off? Did you work every day? Were there some days where you just relaxed? 
or you spend time with family or church? What was your routine? What was your schedule? Uh, you know, it was a really hard schedule in the beginning. I worked seven years, like 15 to 20 hours per day. Some days 12 hours, but I work a lot. I used to work like 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. Um, depends on who you are. Some people like to wake up more early so they can do it uh, at mornings. But yeah, I work it a lot. My mom, she gets mad with me. I used to live with her, you know, before in the past. So maybe Sunday, uh, 7 p.m., somebody calls, I answer the phone. Hey, and my mom is like, why are you asking me the phone? We are eating. You cannot answer the phone right now. I'm like, my mom is a doctor, needs my service. I need to answer the phone right now because it's the only moment he can call me. So yeah, I work 24 hours, seven days a week, taking my time. You know, sometimes I, I take time, but yeah, I work a lot. No, no days off. My, my friends, the, the people you suppose you call, you have to call friends because if your friends are only taking you to party, they are not your friends. You know, you got to be surrounded with people add value to you. If they are not, uh, 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 if they are not adding value to yourself, they are not good friends. So my friends was party, having events and all that. And I was working, 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 working. Mm -hmm. seven years. So here's, seven here's years, my question. When yeah. people around you were negative and they didn't believe in you, what was your remedy? How did you fix that? What was your mindset? Especially the people that you love, where they don't, they don't believe in your vision. They're not on board 100%. They like to play around. They like to go to parties. They like to watch stupid shows on TV. They like to do all of these things. How do you, what do you do with those? Well, it's kind of hard, you know. I have some, these, some arguments with my mom and my sisters because they were thinking different. And that's a really good question because you're in your family, you're in your circle but you transform your life, you transform your mind, and you transform how you live, but they not. So they are like, why are, you, why are you working so much? Oh, you love money, that's bad. So, so how I fix it? I explain them like, look, it's three generations in life. Generation number one is the generation who has hungry. And they start to build because I became for a poor family, you know, and poor mindset family. And that's fine. That's good. But I was the first one who started to produce, to make money, to move in myself, to open businesses. And I, I, I told them all the benefits the money gives you, you know. And I talk with them like, you know, this is me now. I am different. I am working on myself. And, and I, I like money. And I want to produce a lot of money. And they're like, you are materialistic. I am not materialistic. Or, or materialistic people is bad. No, they're not. So I talk to them a lot. Take me years to they accept the new Brian, you know, because when you change your mind, you, when, you say, when you change your must, bro, when you change your mind, you change all you. The old, the old you, dead. And you are a new person, you know? I agree with that 100%. Because I see so many entrepreneurs so many businessmen that want to become successful, but the environment that they're in doesn't allow them or it's very difficult to get out of that environment and create an environment for success. So I just want everybody out there to know that it's normal to go through those struggles. Everybody else does the same thing. Not everybody's family has got the correct mindset for business and entrepreneurship and all of that. There will be some families where their background didn't allow them to get into the business for themselves, or they just didn't want to do it. Maybe they just wanted to work. Maybe they just want to do a normal stuff like their parents did. So this new generation is completely different, and we need to do things different than we did in the past. So I agree with that. So, Brian, my last question for you. If somebody who has not read the book Thinking Go Rich, why should they go read the book Thinking Go Rich? You know, this is one of the most completed books in the market talking about success. This book was written in 1937. And imagine in that years talking about sex, because this book talk about, about the trust. I don't know how to say the word, but trust. Transmutation. Yeah. So imagine talking on that, but this is most the complete book you have to read. If you want to start changing your mind, I recommend you this book because it's going to tell you 
It's going to give you the tools, exactly tools to just start creating imagination. Look, when I read it, I start my, my, my own life. I design it. It's a, a, a really successful life. And I start to write everything that I want to have in my life. And all the things I put here, I complete it. So read the book because it's going to change your mind. But you have to change your mind. And after that, take action. So take the book, read it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten times and take notes and start your rich life. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Brian, thank you so much for taking this time and being with us. I appreciate you. I know you're a busy man. I appreciate you being here. Hopefully we can collaborate on a couple of more projects. I, I definitely, I will be in contact with you. We got a couple of things going on. I, I want to get to know my friends in Costa Rica. Thank you so much. Yeah, for sure. Bye. Have a good Talk day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Keep thinking rich. <laughs> I will. Bye. I will. Thank you.